Hello, my name is Emma Robbins and I'm speaking today on behalf of my co-authors in the Cancer Screening and Prevention Research Group at Imperial College London, as well as those at Newcastle University, Queen Mary University, New Cross Hospital and St Mark's Hospital. One of our main research interests focuses on the optimisation of post polypectomy surveillance, that is surveillance performed after the removal of colorectal polyps, usually by colonoscopy. Our aim is to identify patients who really need and benefit from surveillance and to identify the optimal frequency of surveillance for such patients. This is important because colonoscopy surveillance is costly, resource intensive and carries a risk of complications for patients. Our recent article in Endoscopy is titled Post Polypectomy Surveillance Interval and Advanced Neoplasia Detection Rates a multi-centre retrospective cohort study. We perform this study to address the urgent need for surveillance interval data. Very few studies have examined the association between surveillance interval length and detection of colorectal neoplasia at surveillance, and the findings have been inconsistent. Our aim was to elucidate this association to help inform optimal surveillance intervals. In particular, we were interested in examining whether the 2020 UK and European recommendations for no surveillance and surveillance of three years are appropriate for low risk patients and high risk patients respectively. Our study was an observational retrospective analysis of over 11,000 post polypectomy patients who attended one or more surveillance visits, who we classified as low risk or high risk following the UK guidelines. Among low-risk patients, metachronous advanced neoplasia at surveillance was uncommon, even with surveillance intervals of up to six years. Among high-risk patients, the likelihood of detecting advanced adenomas and colorectal cancer at surveillance increased with increasing interval length, and particularly as the interval extended beyond three years for colorectal cancer. These findings are important because they indicate it is appropriate that low risk patients are recommended to participate in non-invasive colorectal cancer screening rather than undergo surveillance. While for high risk patients, the findings indicate that a three year surveillance interval is optimal to ensure the timely detection of colorectal cancer. These unique data will be vitally important in supporting future iterations of the UK and European surveillance guidelines and will ultimately help to optimise post polypectomy surveillance strategies worldwide to have the biggest impact on colorectal cancer in the most um, efficient way. The next steps are to understand the effects of assigning different surveillance intervals on long-term post polypectomy colorectal cancer outcomes in a randomized control trial. One such trial is currently underway, the European Polyp Surveillance Trial, and results are expected from 2029 onwards. Thank you very much for listening. And if you would like to find out more about our research on colorectal cancer screening and surveillance, please follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at CSPRG underscore imperial.